Chinook salmon is one of New Zealand's most prized sport fish, and its life cycle is an intrepid journey, fraught with danger at every corner. Salmon make their home in New Zealand's big glacial fed rivers. From December, if you look carefully in the water, you will see little rooster tails as salmon returning home zip across the shallows like mini torpedoes. Once back in the river after their two years spent at sea, the salmon spend over a month battling the strong currents heading upstream to their spawning grounds. Taking a breather from the relentless current, they rest where they can, like this piece of quieter water just out of the main flow of the river. As they get close to their spawning grounds, the salmon group together waiting for the right time to head into the spawning streams. Notice how dark the fish have become compared to the earlier footage from downstream. The salmon will not eat at all once they leave the ocean. Because of this, anglers can only catch them by trying their patience and getting them to lash out and attack the lure in front of them. Once in the spawning stream, the hens, which are female salmon, and the jacks, which are male salmon, pair up, and the hen makes a hole in the shingle by rolling on her side and flicking the stones out of the way with her tail. Once she is ready to lay her over, or eggs, she will drop down low onto the riverbed, and then the jack will follow her to fertilise the over. The jack is often to fight off other jacks who are trying to fertilise as many eggs as possible. The hen will lay some three to four thousand over. These are visible as the orange balls floating past the camera. The hen covers up the over with more shingle. The scooped out shingle bed is called a red. Buried under the gravel for three months, the overhatch into little elephant. These are smaller than the size of a 10 cent piece. They hide out under the stones on the watch for predators. Initially the elephant aren't very mobile, but as they consume the egg sac over five to seven weeks they become more and more mobile and school up. Elevin become fry about five to ten weeks after hatching. Once the fish get to spring, they will start their journey downstream to the sea, growing as they go. The next time we will see them in the river is when they are this size, and they have come back to spawn and start the life cycle all over again.